It's as pretty a dining room as there is in Dallas. Done up to the nines for a Thanksgiving feast. But look a little closer and you'll see why no one is eating. This is the Starbucks home. And here, football comes before food. Which is why a busload of family and friends is headed downtown to play a game of flag football, just as they've done every Thanksgiving for decades. 1980, actually, we, we decided to play a little flag football on uh, Thanksgiving, kind of, uh, you know, recreating the, uh, the Cowboy Thanksgiving Day game, but with a flag football game, and uh, it, we had so much fun, and people wanted to come back the next year, and I think uh, all of a sudden we built uh, over, it's been 35. 35 years now, so it's, uh, it's been a lot of fun. Happy Thanksgiving! Go Cowboys! It used to be just like kids and, you know, the family and, you know, like the aunts and uncles and that type of deal. Um, but then it turned in a little more competitive as I got older and now we've got half a dozen former Division I players and a couple of former NFL guys. And so it's now it's, it's semi-serious. Semi-serious? This game doesn't just have tradition, it's got a draft. John Grimes. Mark Spears. Jared Romo. Corey Barsh. David Vibora. I still don't know how the draft pick is done. One year where Max, our opposing quarterback, was mad at us for stacking the team in our favor, which we may or may have. They always seem to put together a pretty solid roster. Oh, I can't believe we forgot this guy. Drew Pearson. Oh! <laughs> Drew. Uh, our team is stacked. Especially at quarterback. Roger is utterly at home in the house he helped build. Thanksgiving is, is a special day for him because it's, it's uh, as it is for all of us, it's an opportunity to be with your family, but it's a special day for him because he gets to play quarterback again. Oh man, that's a nice throw right there. And make no mistake, hey! even at age 73, the quarterback is playing to win. If you drop a ball early in the game, it, you're, you might as well not be there anymore when he's quarterback. Well, that's not totally true. It's true. Yeah. So even though waistlines are a little longer, hairlines a little altered. That's my bald spot right there. And even a hitch in some giddy-ups. These guys still got game. I have plays on a piece of paper and with numbers, have everything drawn up. And I think Roger just goes out there, runs the offense, and manages his people, and, and wins. Is there still magic in the Staubach name? Could be. Staubach looks like he might take off. Got away from one. Got away twice. Roger, you are something else. OK, so they're not America's team. But there is an all-American feel to the proceedings. A holiday warmth and fellowship. And for those of a certain age, maybe a little nostalgia, too. Roger, he's going long. Down the near sideline for Drew Pearson. Pearson makes the catch. Touchdown! What you believe it? A MVP, David, you're the man. Oh. The best part of the annual Turkey Bowl? The post-game meal, of course. Because if you thought the Staubachs were good on the football field, you should see him in the kitchen. Of course, a big game works up a big appetite. So, it's Bon Appetit. Until next year. Happy Thanksgiving.